Fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner, Abraham Campos. I might chip, boss, man. I got this job. Having two fights here at Frontier Three Fights, 0 and 2, but looking very strong in both of those fights. Uh, as you go back to FSF9, when he fought Andrew Cruz, that was the one, if you remember, we were like three seconds from the end of the round, and Andrew Cruz, with the awareness, saw what was going on, uh, ended that in an arm bar in round number one. And then, of course, uh, in Front Street Fights 10 just a few months ago, losing to Darnell Stevens via TKO. Uh, also, he, you know, you look at the three fight loss streak, Tough. he's the submission, two TKOs, they're all early in round one. You look at all of his fights, his last five fights, uh, only one has gone into round two. So that that can speak highly either way uh, to, again, the, the gameness of an opponent. Yeah, tough tough uh, fighters, you know, Andrew Cruz, Darnell Stevens, you know, those losses, you know, tough guys. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, Elmar Umarov. Raised in a Boise, Idaho, currently training out of St. Louis, been looking to get back here to Boise, Idaho, finally able to make it happen. I know Todd Carlson has been trying to get Elmar a fight here for, for quite a while now, finally able to get him back here in his hometown to make his pro debut. Something pretty special for any fighter. Where did you say he's living? He's living in St. Louis right now. Oh, okay. Looking at his last five fights, undefeated. A second round submission, a first round TKO, a first round knockout, first round submission. And again, much like Abraham Campos's record, a lot of early fights except for his first amateur fight or uh, five fights ago against Dalton Hoverson uh, at the Clash. So, you know, again, it speaks to the gameness of, of both fighters. Both like to take chances. Both are risk takers, which, you know, it's risk versus reward on either side. And we've seen a lot of positive from Abraham Campos in his last few fights with us as well, too. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, also, you know, with his with his background being from Russia, you know, obviously growing up here, you know, Russians like to kick. So uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see if he's got a lot of kicks in his repertoire. And it's time to take a look at our tale of the tape, brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. 22-year-old Elmer Umarov makes his pro debut against 23-year-old Amber Abraham Campos. Experience isn't the only advantage Campos will have coming in in a 6-inch height advantage and a 5.5-inch reach advantage. We're going to get this thing underway. Let's go back inside the cage with Britt Talbert. Ladies and gentlemen, we move to our second professional bout of the night. This fight will feature three five-minute rounds in the Front Street Fights lightweight division. And it's brought to you by Les Schwab Tires, where our business is earning your trust. Let's meet our fighters. In the B2 digital blue corner behind me, standing six feet one inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds with a record of one win against three defeats. Representing Gustavo Perez Siri out of Kennewick, Washington, I give you Abraham Campos. His opponent across the ring to my left in the red corner, standing in at five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, making his much anticipated pro debut. From St. Charles, uh, representing St. Charles MMA, by way of St. Louis, Missouri, now calling Boise, Idaho home, I give you Elmar Umarov. Our referee in charge when the action begins is Tom Suptet. Right, 
We are underway in the pro debut for Elmar Umarov. Five, excuse me, three five-minute rounds here at Front Street Fights 13, presented by Bodybuilding.com. Inside kick there by Elmar. A little close there in height. Both fighters acknowledging each other that they are ready to do battle tonight. Good kick by Abraham. And again, we've seen a lot of positive things from Abraham and in his fights with us. It's the second uh, right kick that, that he's uh, landed. So we'll see. Uh, you saw Elmar try this uh, little fake Inside kick. kick here by Elmar. He went low high with the same kick, you know, so. And he stepped in on that kick, so he's reading. He's reading Abraham's right kick now, and he stepped in on it and got a little shot off with his, uh, with his hands. Just over a minute got by in this first round. High knee there by Elmar Umarov. His left one to the ribcage of Abraham Campos. So Abraham. Oh, the outside kick trips Elmar. Takes him down, but look at the resilience of Elmar Umarov. Catches Abraham, but Abraham turns that right around and keeps control. That leg sweep rocked Elmar to the ground. I don't even know if it was a leg sweep. I think he kicked so hard that he kind of kicked through both legs. That was unreal. I mean, Abraham with a couple, uh -oh, couple of bar. fists, but he could be giving up that arm bar. We saw this happen to him once before in almost literally the same corner, but again, able to get it out and starts flying with those left fists. A lot of energy coming early on. Look for an arm bar again. If, if his head escapes out the backside, he's in trouble. Oh, he tapped. Over. Wow. Abraham tapped there. Yep. Verbal tap. A verbal tap. Tom Subnet comes over to tell us a verbal tap by Abraham Campos. Just under two minutes in round number one. Pretty exciting moment there for Elmar Umarov. Comes home, finally gets his fight at Front Street Fights. And again, this is not the second time that we've missed something tonight. It's, I, I gotta tell you, Mitch, the action has been pretty exciting as we go to the Project Filter replay, brought to you by Project Filter. You decide when, we'll show you how. Visit projectfilter.org. Wish that one would've gone longer. Again, here comes that late kick by Abraham Campos. Catches him, I mean, that's, you look at the reach with Abraham's leg, able to catch the outside leg of Elmar Umarov. Again, driving him back into the cage and just starts getting the fist flying. And this is where, you know, See, almost gives up the arm bar here, which again, we, we've seen that happen, unfortunately, to Abraham before. Again, he likes to take a lot of chances, was holding nothing back. And, and there was something in this exchange here yeah, he, so so Abraham he did get the, he did Abraham get the should have stayed square with the body, and and what happened was Elmar's hips went side to side, kept swinging out. You know he's testing the arm bar, and uh, uh, Abraham should have shifted with him and kept uh, Elmar's shoulders flat on the ground, and so that was the the fatal flaw in that that little exchange why he got arm barred. It was a verbal tap there again, as, as we saw it there there about. As we saw it from our position, it was kind of hard to see there. Almost locked in the arm bar, but when when we couldn't see it with their backs to us, uh, able to lock in that arm bar. So we're going to send this one back inside the cage for the official results with Britt Talbert. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. At 155 of the first round, we have a verbal tap out via an arm bar for our winner in his professional debut. Elmar Umarov! Elmer, got your swag bag here from our friends at bodybuilding.com. Emotion right now or you got sweat in your eyes? Some emotion. Then the question I have to ask is, St. Charles, St. Louis. Who's next? Who is next? I'll fight anybody, anybody, anytime. All right, that was going to be my question. That worked out well. Obviously, Elmar, who do you want to thank here tonight? First of all, I want to dedicate this fight to my grandma. She passed away from cancer, so this is for your grandma. First, uh, 
Man, Alfred Benson, Five Path Consulting. Man, without them, I wouldn't be here. Tiger 2, hey, Straight Blast Gym Idaho, Freddie, Jesse, Thomas, man, you guys are awesome. And St. Charles MMA, Mike Rogers. Man, you guys put me here. Man, I love you guys, I love that team. I'm from St. Louis, but Boise is in my heart.